Hi, welcome to Brianna's Pickleball. My name is Jordan Brianna's, and in today's video, we're going to talk about the top five serves that I use to win easy points. Now, let's jump right in. All right, so the serve, I know we talk about the serve in a lot of our videos. It's a very important shot, especially if you're moving up in levels, the more aggressive and consistent serve that you can have, the weaker returns you're gonna get, which is really important in singles or doubles. All right, so my very first go-to serve is going to be the hard topspin serve, okay? So with a good topspin stroke, you know, my ball's naturally going to have some topspin on it because of my rotation and also my low to high motion with my stroke as I start from here and then I end um, towards my left shoulder here. But just hitting it hard and deep with spin and pace is really difficult or can be really difficult for the returner. So I'm going to hit these first ones as deep as I can with a good amount of pace. And when you hit it, you know, towards this baseline here, you know, they can't stand right here. It's very, very tough to return when you're standing this close, right? If I'm serving deep, hard topspin, they're gonna have to give themselves some room, which really makes it a lot harder for them to get to the net after the return. So this is why deep topspin serves are my first go-to serve. Okay, you can see Katrina at the end over there. She's in a good ready position. She may have to adjust depending on how hard I'm hitting them, but she's in a good position there. Now I can either go kind of more down the center of the line here towards her backhand or i can pull it wide and go to her forehand so i like to use both um, and sometimes once in a while i will actually like to go straight right in the middle of her side so that it could kind of jam her up and forces her to pick a forehand or a backhand which she's going to have to move out the way here we go okay so that one was more towards the body. I'm gonna try to get it a little bit deeper if I can. There we go. From here. Okay, that was a really, really good one. Here we go again. So that was a good that was a good one to the back end there. Good. And I'm gonna hit one to the body here. Body serve here. Okay, really, really tough. Those have good spin. Remember, I'm hitting with top spin. It's jumping off and accelerating towards my opponent. Um, one little key tip, I really like to get full rotation and you can see after I serve, my right leg comes through and that is just a result of me swinging through and using my forward momentum, getting more power and pace on that serve. Hi, if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you're interested in exclusive on-court training with me, go ahead and go to briannispickleball.com forward slash coaching. Now, let's get right back to the video. All right, so now let's jump into my number two go-to serve and that is the high top spin serve. Now, this one is a lot slower than the top spin hard serve that we just showed you this one is going to go high above the net and i'm going to try to make it land deep and it has some top spin on it so you know when it lands it kind of kicks up and you know they end up hitting it at waist level or sometimes maybe a little bit higher this is just a good serve to throw in there after hitting really really hard serves okay so it's going to look like this here we go okay Again. Good. Okay, good. Okay, good. <laughs> See, she hit the back fence on that one there. Okay. Okay, so those last two were super tough. When it's that high and it's bouncing and then accelerating off the ground it's a lot higher contact point than most players are used to right um, especially compared to the fast topspin serve so now when i'm mixing both of those in it's really hard and even the timing is really hard for the returner so on this one how do i get it higher and more topspin what i'm doing is i'm slowing down my stroke you can see my swing is not as fast right it's a lot slower and then i'm actually going more low to high so from right here it's slower and then i go like that 
Okay, here we go. I'll show you again. Good. <laughs> so like that. So seriously, um, mixing up just these first two alone is going to be a game changer, especially when you're going forward to backhand and to the body, and you're mixing up the you know high kind of loopy topspin and then fast topspin. All right, so now let's hop into my number three go-to serve, and that is the lob serve, the slow high lob serve. Now, with returners that just tee off, they just really hit great returns. With players that really like to hit quality ground strokes back, and it forces you into a tough and rushed third shot, a high slow lob serve sometimes is really, really great because they don't have the pace of that serve coming at them. So they have to generate all their pace, you know, as they send that ball back. So again, I don't use it all the time, but this is definitely a serve I will mix in. So I'll try a few here. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was a good one. But you can see there how you know how much time your returner has they actually have to see it bounce they have to wait they have to set up so there's a lot more time to think so this is why it's really really good to mix this in sometimes here we go okay good and again uh, i know i don't have topspin on it but it does force a higher balance so it's a lot different than a regular surf now how do I execute this one? This one, I'm not hitting like a ground stroke. All I'm doing is just lifting. I'm getting under the ball and I'm just lifting straight up and you can hit as high as you want. Obviously on a windy day, maybe not the best um, option, but right now we have about three mile an hour winds and it's just a really nice day here. So here we go again. Good. Okay, I mean, that's a lot of time. Let's see if I could send this one to the moon here. Okay, that one's really, really tough. All right, so now let's hop into my go-to serve number four, and that is the short topspin corner serve, okay? So as a right-handed player, specifically on the even side, I can kind of curl or roll my serves into the corner. So it's gonna be to her forehand, but if I hit it short and with angle, that is going to cause her to really have to move out off the court and also move up. Now, when I am serving those, you know, hard serve, deep serves, look at her positioning back there very, very far back. So this is when I would actually throw in some corner angle serves here. So I'll serve a couple here to show you what that looks like. <laughs> Okay, good. All right, so like you can see there, when they're really, really far back because of the previous ones, this is a good one just to throw in. Now, again, this is definitely probably one of the riskiest serves that I hit, but you know, every once in a while, this is something good to keep them honest and to keep them on their toes. So for this one, I'm just, hitting the same kind of topspin, but I'm now more coming on the side of the ball. This one, if I'm gonna curl it a little bit more, it's still with topspin, but I'm gonna come like this on the ball, right? So like this, so that I have a little bit of spin going towards her right. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so now let's hop into the fifth and final go-to serve, which is the side spin serve towards the left corner pocket over there. Okay, so as a right-handed player, you know, we obviously serve on both sides, but from the odd side here, what I'm going to be doing on this side is I'm going to be coming across my body and trying to hit either you can hit this short or deep but what i'm going to do is i'm going, going to hit this with a little bit of side spin so it spins to my uh opponent's left side to their backhand so this could be a really tough return for players who have weaker backhands it's spinning off the court which pulls them off which can be really really good for you okay so let's try a couple of those here here we go Okay, there we go. Okay. 
good. There we go. That one kicked. Saw that bounce and move a little bit. Now I'm going to try a couple short ones here where I take a little bit of pace off and then it's in the corner there on the left. Here we go. There we go. So now she's really forced to run up for it. Okay, here we go. Okay. Here we go. Oh, that was a tough one. Okay, so for this shot, um, I'm hitting side spin, so I'm coming across my body like this. This is a lot different than a serve like this with top spin. I'm starting here and going across. All right, so those were my five go-to serves. Remember, there's the hard, fast-paced top spin serve that's deep. There's the high loopy topspin serve there's the slow high deep lob serve and then number four there is the topspin curler short angle serve and then on this side on the odd side number five is going to be the side spin kind of slice serve you know in the corner deep or you can do one shorter where it really draws them in all right so remember when i'm playing a particular player I'm throwing all these different kinds of serves in, right? And I'm trying to see how they respond to them. You can practice just with a paddle, a few balls, and you know, a court. That's all you need. You don't need anyone there to practice. So again, if this video was helpful, or if you have any questions, leave a comment below, give this video a like. Thanks so much, and we'll see you in the next video. For exclusive pickleball content from me, check out brionispickleball.com. For awesome pickleball paddles like this one, make sure to check the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. You never know when it is over, over. All that I know is we'll get older, older. So let us dance this night away.